Hey Queens, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you are being safe. And I wanted to get on here and talk to you about confidence and how meditation and deep breathing is changing my life and making me more confident. <music> know I've been doing the guided live meditation for about two months now every two weeks and I absolutely enjoy it I love it it's everything I hope you all love it and I hope you all enjoy it as well meditation is a practice Queens it is not something that you can do today and then say I'm healed I don't need to do it anymore. It's not something that you can do today and then do next week and just stop. This is a lifelong journey, a lifelong practice. You need to be practicing meditation every single day. And it helps you with being mindful. So does the deep breathing. They go hand in hand, believe it or not. So deep breathing is breathing in from your nose through your mouth, exhaling through your mouth. What we do on the daily is shallow breathing, like what I'm doing now. I'm just shallow breathing. So when you deep breathe, it sends more oxygen to you know your brain, through your blood, through your cells, through your organs. So it's really important to deep breathe. And deep breathing, because it gives you so much oxygen, it helps calm the amygdala, it helps calm the vagus nerve, and it also helps with calming anxiety. So I've been experiencing less anxiety. I have been more optimistic and I've been able to stop and smell the roses. And the reason why I mentioned that is because life has been tough and I know it's been tough for everyone. You know, these past three years, woohoo, baby. Uh, whew, you gotta deep breathe every single day. And I know I do. Being a single mother of three children, school starting soon. For me, for them, I'm working full time. I have to cook, clean. I do it all. Queens, it is tough. It's challenging. But I am learning that through it all, I can stop and smell the roses and I can be happy and I can enjoy it through meditation and through deep breathing. Meditation keeps me grounded. It gives me solitude. It gives me a space to run to when I feel like I'm in need you know, of refuge go to meditation and I turn towards deep breathing because it gives me that moment. I just look to, I look, I look forward to that, that moment of just closing my eyes and being with myself and being with my thoughts, allowing them to pass, not attaching to them, being with my feelings, allowing them to pass, not attaching to them, not judging them because that's what meditation is. It's so important. But I'm just noticing a difference. You know, I'm really evolving and I'm really proud of myself for taking the time out and the patience to do so. And I'm urging, I implore you all to meditate and to deep breathe. I'm telling you, it takes you to the next level of being calm. I can't remember the last panic attack I had. I can't remember the last time I was anxious because along with me deep breathing and meditating, it gives me so much. It gives me confidence. Confidence enough to know that in order to overcome my fears, I need to face them. And the more I face them, instead of resisting and pull back, the better I become and the less anxious I am. So. Deep breathing and meditation is helping all of that. I'm telling you, believe it or not. And also I listen to the frequencies and I don't ever want to forget, I pray. I pray every single day 
for myself and for other people. I pray. And if I miss a beat, I am not doing it on purpose. I apologize because I'm not perfect, but I pray. Prayer works. And the more you have people praying for you and the more you are praying for other people, the more the universe will answer to your calling. It may not be in the time that we want it. It may not be in the fashion form we want it in, but it does happen for us. So prayer, meditation, and deep breathing queens, it works. You know, over the summer, I, I think in the beginning of the summer, I was feeling like a little apprehensive about the nursing path that I was taking. And just recently, I had an epiphany and I was like, wait a minute now, I can do that. And it's, it's, you know, it's less time, you know, because I already have a bachelor's degree. So I'm like, how can I make this conducive and how can I make this work for me? And I don't know, I, I, I woke up one day at 4 a.m. in the morning, normally don't wake up that early. I didn't know why I was awake and I prayed one of my friends told me, when you get up in the middle of the night like that, pray. So I prayed. And when I got up, I'm just like, let me look at nursing schools. I don't know where it came from, right? I have been neglecting a school that, you know, they email me very often. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just take a look at one more. One more thing. One, more, one last time. And I took a look and I was like, I need the criteria. This is me. You know, I looked at it before. I don't know. They may have changed some things. I don't know what it was, but I was just so ecstatic when I found out that I didn't have to jump the hoops and loops that I thought I was going to have to jump. So now I'm on a different path and it'll happen for me hopefully sooner. You know, I want to take my time through this process, but I was so like when I seen everything, I was so confident that yes, I'm gonna do this. And I've never been this confident in my life. Like, I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. Nah, I'm getting in. I'm gonna do it through faith, through my meditation, through my deep breathing, and through prayer. It really works. But meditation, queens, I'm telling you, it is definitely my place of refuge. I run to meditation when I'm having a stressful day or a challenging day and I feel a little anxious I feel a little off it's time for me to go and run and escape and be by myself and be with my thoughts and be with my feelings and allow them to pass because emotions are fickle thoughts are fickle they change they go up and down they go here they go sideways they go everywhere so we do not need to attach to these things queens be mindful stay in that moment meditate and meditation will help you practice mindfulness so this has been my journey so far me deep breathing and then for one it feels good in addition to going out with nature Deep breathing feels so good. I'm telling you, you feel so refreshed. Like, like, whoo, feels good in meditation. Like I said, it is my go-to, is my place of refuge. I look forward to it. It's like a big kid who's anticipating getting candy. Oh, I'm about to go meditate. That's how I feel when I'm getting ready to go meditate. So, Queens, and every time I do the meditation on live, I love it. So, Queens, I hope that you are subscribing to my channel so like subscribe thank you so much for watching don't forget to do your queens and things i post it every day on instagram me movement at m e e e e movement every single day i post it you know it's a lot of inspirational things on there go check it out please practice queens and things pray for yourself pray for others Make up that bed, say those affirmations, write down five things that you are thankful for every single day. Do something that you enjoy doing and just be happy, okay? Until next time, queens, take care.
like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.